evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Friends and family came together into Scumbia to honor and remember two people who were shot and killed almost a decade ago. WAFF 48's Daquan Lee talked with the victim's loved ones who say it's hard to believe the suspect still hasn't had a trial. It's a yearly tradition that remains emotional. Friends and family of Gary Baskins gathered here at Jody's restaurant right off of Highway 72, nine years since his death. But the family still can't have closure until a conviction has been reached. It's been nearly a decade, but Vicki Holt says the pain of losing her son, Gary Baskins, still cuts deep. Baskins and Kayla Glover were both killed back in 2015 at Jody's restaurant while they were sitting in their car. Holt says every year, friends and family come back here to honor her son's life while maintaining their calls for justice. They need to be punished for what they did. You know, they didn't deserve to be dead like this. So, yeah, it's emotional for me. Bad. On your screen now is Sean Ryan. He was indicted back in 2021, charged with two counts of capital murder and Glover and Baskin's death. He's set to go to trial August 19th, but there's no guarantee he will. He's had four other trial dates in the last two years, each of which have been delayed. Holt plans to continue honoring her son with this yearly tradition, even though she says every year it doesn't get any easier. People just don't know what it is when you lose your child. Yeah. It's emotional. Just a few days ago, the state announced they would not be seeking the death penalty in this case. But no matter how it happens, Vicki Holt just wants to see justice for her son. In Tuscumbia, Daquan Lee, 48, on your side.